Rickety's are also great because they give speed EVs, which like health and speed are just never bad to have. What did I think of um, Black Panther 2? I thought it was really good. It was my favorite movie of um, Phase 4 overall. I liked parts of No Way Home. Like a lot of people, I liked parts of No Way Home more, but like as a whole, I think. Because it's the only movie, and I, I haven't seen everything they've made in Phase 4, but it's the only thing I've seen that really feels like a movie. In terms of like, it is shot like a movie, it is written like a movie, it's not made to sell a product. Which is, which is crazy, the Black Panther sequel. Black Panther, the original, felt like such a product. I don't, I don't like, I don't love the original Black Panther, but it's fine. I like this one much more. Characters are nice. It's amazing that it took what was basically just side characters in the first movie. It just kind of, you know, made them interesting, which, I, I mean, I love stories that can develop side characters, but I really wasn't interested in any of the side characters from the first Black Panther, and they, they did a lot. Like, how does Shuri go from being one of the most disposable characters in any Marvel movie to being, like, the best character in Phase 4? I like, um, I like that it introduced Ironheart. I've liked Ironheart for a while, and people think I'm crazy because, she, yes, she does suck in the comics, but she has potential. And this movie showed why. She's funny. She's, uh, she's charismatic. Good performance. I liked everything about Ironheart, even at the very end. I won't spoil anything, but, like, at the very end, she does a lot. And, um, she doesn't really have a reason to be there, <laughs> which you can kind of feel. But other than that, I mean... She's still fun, even if, like, at the halfway point of the movie, you realize, like, oh, she just shouldn't be here. If you, if you push that aside, it's it's still pretty fun. Namor was cool. I don't really have a lot to say about it. I just really liked, like, the big takeaway for me was Ironheart, definitely. It's a character that I've liked for a while, and everybody thinks I'm crazy for liking, because, no, she's not a good character in the comics, but, like, she can be done better if you adapt her right. And that's what they did. And so now I'm officially excited for the show. And that was actually the thing I was most afraid about. Because, I mean, I love Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, and I hate how they butchered her in her show. And so when I heard that Ironheart was going to be in Wakanda Forever, a movie I wasn't excited to see because I didn't like the first one, I, um, I got really scared. I put off watching it for like a week for a lot of reasons, but mostly just because... I didn't want to see them ruin another character that I loved as a kid. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm a, what, 20-something white guy in college, so I really shouldn't be able to say that I liked Ironheart because she wasn't made for me, but I don't know. Is that, is that wrong? Say I, say I identify. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't say I identify with her. I just say I like her. She is a quip machine. She's a lot like Iron Man, but, like, for some reason... She's like the only character since Iron Man who copies that formula that actually feels like she does it right. Which is weird because, like, I know that that's technically what she's supposed to be because she's supposed to be the successor to Iron Man. But, like, I don't know. She's the only character who quips recently that I feel like does it right. Because, you know, everybody kind of quips in, in the Marvel Universe. Who knows? The, um... They're not Atlanteans in the movie, but like the underwater people, I don't know what you call them, the mer people are cool. Um, what else can I say without spoiling anything? Um, acting was great. Um, even stuff like I, Angela Bassett does a really good job. I'm sure everybody's heard that. I don't like her character that much in the movie, but like she does a good job with what she's given. I mean, some of the characters just aren't good, but like even if their character isn't good, the actor still puts in a good performance like umbaku doesn't do a lot but winston duke gives a great performance so great across the board the more i think about it the more i like it i literally just saw it earlier today and the more that i sit with it like the more the little stuff like the the middling middle act like not a, not a lot happens in the middle of the movie um the more i think about it it's just like eh but that's fine you know who really cares it's, it's fine uh, what else? Um, third act is, does the similar thing we used to. I'd actually say I'm weird. The third act is probably my least favorite part of the movie. A lot of people don't like the middle. I think the middle's fine. Um, 
there's some stuff there that happens with Shuri and Ironheart in particular that I like, but other than that, nobody else really does anything interesting other than Namor. Like Namor, Shuri, and uh, what was I talking about? Uh, oh yeah, at the third act, uh, Namor, Ironheart, Shuri do cool things. Other than them in the third act, nobody else really does a whole lot. There's like a battle, and the battle is cool. Like it's not it's not bad or anything, but like you know, it's it's what you come to expect. Yeah, I think that's about it though. Later. <clears throat> Oh, there's a bunch of skidoos. We're gonna grind there later when we get back. Yeah, but my big takeaway, um, we stopped talking about it for a bit because I, I ran out of things to say, but my big takeaway from um, Black Panther 2, um, give us more Shuri. Somehow, like, she was by far the most, like, mediocre and mid character, I think, in the history of the MCU. Just, okay, she's a super genius, everybody's a super genius. She's quippy, everybody's quippy. She is a side character. Everybody's a side character at this point. And then they took that character, and then they made her, like, one of the best characters in the entire MCU. Easily the best character in Phase 4, and the, and the character I'm most excited to see more of later on. Like, she's the only thing, she's the only character where I want to see what they do with her in another movie. I have, like, no ambitions to see Captain Marvel or... or Thor or any any of these characters that we've seen recently in like new movies because they're so uninteresting but she's like the only one that I like I want to see more of her you know hopefully they make like I actually like I, I want to see a Black Panther 3 now which is something I never thought I'd say it, it might be because I had such low expectations but like yeah movie definitely blew me away especially in terms of like what I've come to expect from Marvel